What's up, fam? Mr. Cut, your CEO back in the house, man. Look, hope y'all doing well on this Monday. It's been a rough Monday already. Um, didn't get a chance to get my stuff recorded yesterday because I had some stuff going on last night with a couple of trucks. But here I am. want to start a new series this week, Making Tough Decisions. Making Tough Decisions. Lord knows I've had to make some tough decisions uh, over the years in the dump truck business and even lately. And so I want to talk about that this morning, how uh, this is just a constant thing whereby you got to make decisions in this dump truck business. Uh, it's just a whole plethora of things uh, that you're going to make, have to make decisions about. Um, and I just want to begin to talk about some of them uh, as we go forward this week and uh, maybe even next week talking about this very subject, right? Because I'm going to tell you something, man or sister, uh, decision making will will and or can make you or break you in this business, man. Um, one of some of the biggest decisions that have to be made in this business we'll talk about today is, uh, is who to work for, who to work for. Uh, in dominoes down here in South Louisiana, we like to say in, in the game of dominoes, you know, when you're taking 10, you hit you at 15 and all that, but then you're doing that, but then the guy come behind you and hit 20, 25. And so what we like to say sometimes, or you're doing all that scoring at the beginning of the domino game, but you can't domino. And the key to the game and the name of the game is domino. Uh, and to keep your domino. And so a lot of times what we were saying, the old me and I learned from when we played dominoes, all money ain't good money talk boy all money and good money what do you mean by that country ceo as it relates to dump truck business you have to be careful about who you work for in the business why is that a fact well some of these people out here are uh, slow pay right you gotta get an understanding with some of these folks on uh, from the rip, off the rip, out the jump, about what is their pay schedule, how do they pay, right? Don't be so happy to get a job that you don't question these people about when they're going to pay you, right? And watch this. Even when some say they're going to pay on a certain amount of time, sometimes that stuff gets stretched out, right? Some of the game that's out there with some contractors, not all, is that, you know, you know, mishaps with the paperwork you know they'll buy what i like to call buy a week on you right they'll buy a week in the sense that something went wrong with the invoice this person was not available to cut the check this person wasn't there to process your tickets whatever but sometimes they buy a week on you they try to you know, get it pushed back another week and hey you know hey i don't trip most of the time because i know i'm in business sometimes things happen sometimes things go going as planned now i don't get the luxury of doing that because when my guys want to be paid my truckers who work for me as sub they want to be paid they want to be paid and so i don't do that i i establish a line of credit or i just take my own money pay my people and i wait on my money all right but what infuriates me and gets me upset is when I'm getting took for a ride by the contractor and getting pushed back and pushed back. I, I'll go for a week, right? Or even two. That ain't going to kill me. The key to that is, is communicating with me and them communicating with you that that's, okay, well, look, Perry, we didn't get it straight. We'll take care of you next week. Tell me that. Don't leave me to wonder. That's not a good thing. So these are decisions that you got to make. Cause sometimes you get you get pushed out like that. And so making good decisions on who you're going to work for. And so watch this. Here's another nugget. Sometimes who's paying the most still is not the best person to work for. Talk, boy. Right? Sometimes they're paying the most. Because sometimes I've seen in this business who's paying the most pay the worst. Talk, boy. How can they pay the most or pay the worst, Jones? Well, because they're paying the most, but they take the longest to pay you. Ooh. So don't fall for the okie doke because of the best rates or the biggest rates or the most money, right? Watch this. Let me give you some game, 100% right here. If somebody's paying $100 an hour, but they're going to be 30 days for me to get the money, and somebody's paying 95 and I'm going to get it every week, I'm going with the 95 talk boy right so those are the decisions that you have to make in the dump truck business tough decisions right uh let me give you one more for the sake of time you own a job this job these people working you every day somebody calls you and want to pay 25 more dollars an hour but they ain't gonna got for two weeks of work you already with somebody that's paying 95 that's going to work you every day endlessly or for six months what do you do 
I raised that question because see, for some of y'all think it's a no-brainer, I know guys right around here for a few dollars more, Clean Eastwood, for a few dollars more, they will jump. And try, oh, I'm going to hit this league. I'm going to make this money. And then they try to break back. And when they can't get back in, they ma it won't let me back in. They mad, right? But you did that to yourself because you made a bad decision, right? And so making tough decisions in this business, you get this is a thinking man's game. You got to be able to think it through process. Don't give contractors and or people a quick answer. Tell them, let you think about it or tell them, give you 30 minutes to get back with you, with them. Whatever you need to do to process before you make a quick, bad decision, right? This is a thinking man's game, right? Thinking. You got to be able to think it through, process it, big picture, what's going to be best for your company. Watch this in the long run. Remember, you're building a business. And building a business, you got to make long run decisions, not what's going to give you instant, short term gratification, okay? That's a whole lot I'm putting on y'all this morning. That's what we're going to talk about for this week and maybe next week too. Making tough decisions in the dump truck business. Look, hit the subscribe, hit subscribe, notification bell. Country CEO, I'm out of here. Excuse my camera, I'm gone.